if you will ask ChatGPT or Wikipedia, uh, we will find definition like soft skills are non-technical, but interpersonal abilities that relate uh, to how you work and interact with others. And by others, I mean your colleagues, your managers, uh, clients, uh, customers, uh, other developers, external communities, and so on. When it comes to soft skills, uh, a lot of times people are not very excited because uh, they do believe that if you're a technical person, you don't have to be extroverted. And a lot of times soft skills are related to um, being extroverted indeed. But in my opinion, the senior you get, the more you need to be able to communicate with people, organize your work and their work so that they would be effective in getting things done. If you will ask the giants of our industry like Amazon, what are the soft skills you are looking for? Uh, you will easily find out uh, the list of 16 soft skills uh, and uh, we can find even longer lists uh, but most of them are based on the basic uh, soft skills and I, I want to discover them. So the first one is the communication skills. You must be able to explain complex concept in simple terms to a diverse audience. So it means like you solve some very complex solution and you have to speak about that to describe how it works. Sometimes it can be a huge challenge for people. The ability to express your thoughts and ideas. This is much harder than you think because the ideas that you have in your mind might come completely different when you actually speak them out. And the ability to double check that what other person understood when you speak with them and when you conveyed something is also not taken for granted, kind of not intuitive because it was always clear for you uh, and requires a lot of practice to get better at. And that's that's also very, very important. The next thing which pretty close uh, is emotional intellect, um, which is very important to, to, to feel the uh, your opponent you're speaking to. It's understanding what other people go through in order to help other people be more productive. In the end of the day, if we want someone to do what we need them to do, we need to make sure that they are set up for success. And to do that, we need to understand what keeps them from being more productive and make sure that we can deal with it and help them. And that's empathy. Now we have a team which collaborates from across the world and we have a different mentality in teams and we need to have even more emotional, emotional intellect and critical thinking uh, in order to have real good collaboration with our colleagues and customers and managers uh, from the different regions. For example, uh, if I'm working with some, some uh, developer from India, uh, I just wake up in the morning and I have a lot of force to do and a lot of power. And he's very tired because it's in, it's already evening. So I need to think about all these uh, circumstances to, to create a good atmosphere for my work and good collaboration with my colleagues. Another one, uh, which I will put it, it will be adaptability and continuous learning. Technology and tools will evolve rapidly. Being adaptable means that you can learn new technologies quickly and help others understand and use them. Continuous learning, it means like we learn every day something new. I know some people create GitHub Repo, which is called TIL, Today I Learn, and put something to there that what they learn today. Every day we learn something new. And our soft skills to continuous learn in this world, it's very, very important. The next thing is, uh, in my opinion, the top of uh, the soft skills is the critical thinking. When you need to read between the lines, and sometimes uh, the customer can say that he's satisfied, but uh, if you have good critical thinking, maybe you'll we'll find out that the client actually not satisfied and uh, you need to act differently. Uh, so it is super important. We got a lot of information and nowadays uh, 
uh, if we look at the number of the information what we have, sometimes it dramatically changes how exactly we're thinking. And to have a critical thinking and problem solving, it's a good exercise to judgment like it's a true or not true. And it's crucial skill. If you ask me about what would be the most valuable soft skills these days, I would say ability to communicate. And regardless if this ability to communicate to people, to adult people, to kids, or to AI. We more and more talking with robots. So maybe it's not so important to have uh, soft skills. And then I just I realized that it's exactly vice versa. Because when you talk with somebody like ChatGPT and you uh, cannot express yourself clear and concise, um, and these soft skills, like we already mentioned, uh, he will not try to understand what exactly you're asking for, like a uh, human will do. Okay, when you speak with human, there is a chance that he, in case he not sure he got your idea, he will ask the questions. ChatGPT will not do that, uh, at least today. So we need to have soft skill to express ourselves even better. And vice versa, when we receive the answer from LLM, we need a lot of critical thinking to understand if we can trust this answer or, or it's just another hallucination. I like to think about the framework where the foundation of everything we do is hard skills. Uh, the way we produce things, produce code, architectural diagrams, um, one pages, something to um, actually show the software engineering work. Then the next step in that um, triangle for me is organizational skills. That could be collaboration with other teams or your team members uh, to make the work more effective. And the very peak is how you publish your things. And here, since I'm a developer relations professional, of course, I tend to think a lot about the um, public facing publishing, when you do blog posts, when you create videos, when you think about things outside of your company, external. But um, even if, you're, if your role is solely the um, backend developer, for example, because I used to be um, a Java backend developer, then Scala backend developer, a lot of times, if you don't publish, if you're not visible for your team, then they cannot they cannot leverage some things that you've done for infrastructure or um, like making the the CI CD running more smoothly. If you will think about the technical skills and the soft skills, you will realize that the world changed uh, dramatically, and uh, in the past people could uh, use the same technical skills for years. But today, new version of Java, new technologies, new languages, uh, new concepts are happen so fast that our technical skills are less important because we need to adapt ourselves to the new changing environment. And the soft skills will remain the same. At different steps in your career, uh, you want to um, double down on different stages of that framework. Uh, at the very beginning, it actually makes sense to decide, what do I want? Do I want to spend time in building my engineering curiosity and being excited about the different technologies? Or do I want to be promoted as fast as possible? These are two very different paths. And depending on what you, what you choose, you have to train different soft, soft or hard skills. And both ways are okay, of course. Um, they will pay off a little differently if you optimize on being promoted as soon as possible. Probably soft skills are going to be a lot of your work because you want to communicate effectively and you want everyone to know about what you're building versus when you're um, building your engineering hard skills. You spend more time on that at the beginning, but then it'll pay off way later. So long term, 
it will pay off anyway, but maybe just focus on hard skills right now. There is no silver bull bullet for everyone. It just um, leverage what you have, what is close to your heart, and you'll be successful. <laughs>